Okay, uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, MacBooks that have the uh, fried LED connector here. What we're seeing, a lot of times we just see the notebook, but we don't see the actual, uh, I mean, we see the logic board, but we don't actually see the connector. So when you'll get a system, or when you get a system in, you have it looking like this. Even if you're a private owner or if you're a shop, you get your system and it looks like this. That's what you see from Apple. <clears throat> what we see and what we finally surmised after uh, taking a lo long look at all of them is that you have this uh, plastic part right here that causes this bar to not touch any of the pins amazingly the bar is not or the plastic is not for actually pulling the cable in it kinda is but it really isn't but this bar is for securing the LED screen in there but what you're seeing is a piece of this plastic gets hot and will melt well with an LED screen what you're gonna have happen <clears throat> is not only does this port supply power uh, and signal it I mean scratch that start again signal it also supplies power so what you're having is the power pins are getting hot causing the plastic here to weaken or um, go through or somebody's pulling on this and it's ripping the plastic when they're plugging it in and unplugging it and it causes one of these causes this metal bar to touch one of these pins and short the system out it fries this chip which this chip goes directly to the LED power or it'll fry one of these pins on here fairly common so <coughs> what you do is when you plug it in you fold this on the underside or at least that's what we're doing and you plug this in like so and you can take this and plug it in just like that make sure everything seats in there correctly which we have we've got it all now you can take a plastic piece and uh, push it up in there like what you take iPods apart for uh, pretty much like a uh, plastic pry bar and push it all the way in there then you can tape this down with uh, high tension tape or you can pull this uh, part off of here and tape it down but what we're seeing after we do that is you have uh, nothing touching these pins to short it out and there's nothing in the area to short this out so with that bar being over like it is you're not actually touching anything this has three on three uh, three on each side so there's nothing to touch in the middle there's nothing over here and you're perfectly fine that way so that's what uh, that's what we've been doing to keep them from shorting out and causing problems like that and see what we have here is an exact motherboard for this unit that came into us for repair so what we see when we unplug this uh, same exact parts same exact layout but what we can tell is there's some darkening over here where there's not darkening on this one so we're gonna flick our light on and go to our uh, eyes here and what we can see when we magnify and zoom up is we have two dead pins there whereas on the other one we have uh, we do not have dead pins so what's happened is exactly what we were just talking about in the previous film has happened in this motherboard that just came in same exact model same exact layout same exact everything and as we can see that uh, those two pins uh, just right over there uh, that look kind of burned out are exactly that they are burned out those traces are 
uh, put to the board and it goes to that controller chip and that controller chip supplies power to the screen and without those pins this board will never get uh, it'll never get what it's supposed to get to turn it on so you can get external video but you'll never get internal video on it through that port unless you rebuild those traces and we feel that that is uh, specifically because of this uh, bar right here and that's what we're seeing on a number of systems we see them daily like that and to uh, replace that you have to source a port from another system to put on there and then you have to rebuild the trace and blah 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 it's very intrinsic and it's not very easy so uh, just a simple way Wrap it under like that and it keeps it from touching and burning it out. Just a little tip.